Hi, Les from Beside and Living the Dream and today's video is going to be a short video about my insurance. There's lots of people are following me with regard to my insurance renewal. Now I've had many people email me, question me with regard to insurance and I've had a few emails with regard to uh, bad stories with regard to insurance payouts for medical insurance and things like that. And let's clear this up from the start. I think every policy has its problems no matter where you are in the world there's always always going to be the the sad stories but what i would say is that if you're applying for medical insurance in thailand be totally and utterly honest don't leave anything unanswered because if you're leaving something unanswered they want to know and this could be against you at the time of need when you need the insurance to pay out now I've had insurance for 10 years and during them 10 years my health situation has gone downhill a little bit uh, where obviously my latest trip to the UK I was diagnosed with emphysema and because I've had insurance for more than 10 years this didn't take into account because it wasn't a pre-existing condition so when all said and done I'm covered for that so I think I'm okay that if I need to be um, claiming against my insurance they'll find no skeletons in the cupboard but then who knows I've had a couple of emails of people giving a couple of horror stories about the insurance not paying out so uh, it, it's a very very difficult one and I'm sorry for those people who don't get paid out but I'm happy for those people who have had no fuss and carry on with their insurance premiums being paid and if they ever need the insurance to pay out it's already paid out now again, to say my insurance is with Pacific Cross, and I'm going to go through through some of this, and I'm going to put a copy of this on my uh, photographs, so you can actually have a read of the policy. And again, I'm going to go through a few things, and I've got to say, I, I asked a few questions that people had asked me with regard to insurance when I went down to Patia to renew it, and. There were actually very, very good questions. Some questions that I need to ask for my own peace of mind also. And I've got to say I was satisfied with the answers that the the agent gave me. So I'm going to give the agent details towards the end of the video also. So if you need to find any information, I'll just give this lady a call. She can answer any and every question that you want. And I was very, very happy with the response that I got from the agent when I went to renew it. And one of the biggest questions that, that was posed to me, and I actually didn't know the answer, but when I asked the question, she gave me the answer that I was more than happy with the answer for this. And one of them is um, Section C, Surgical Fee. Now, I'll show you that. And as I say, you can actually look on, on the copy of it, because I'm going to put a photograph of it. It says maximum surgical fee, 80,000 baht. Now this question that was posed to me, oh, 80,000 baht, you're going to get nothing that's going to cover you for 80,000 baht. And sort of, even though I was covered for 700,000 baht, that raised a little question in my mind as well, saying, 80, yeah, 80,000, you're not going to get much cover for 80,000 baht. But, because this is through Pacific Cross and it was this insurance policy was designed in association with the Patia Expats Club there's some special negotiations that have gone on with regard to this insurance policy and Pacific Cross so by buying the insurance policy through being a member of, of the Patia Expats Clubs you get some benefits and some extra coverage if you like I would say if you've got any question ask the lady that's in, involved with selling these policies she'll tell you exactly what you need to know so ask as many questions as you want and because I met the lady the other day when I renewed my policy I said that be prepared for many many emails and questions because as I'm going to do a video of it and hopefully um, you'll get a few more sales because because of it now I've had this policy well, I've been, should, should I say, I've been with the Expats Club for over 10 years and this is, this is one of the policies that they're offered. I actually changed to this policy over two years ago because it gave a better coverage of insurance 
compared to the, the other previous policy that I took out. But it was all also done with the expats club in Patria. Now to take advantage of this, you only have to join the expats clubs in Patria and that's that's not a big fee to pay to become a member and then you qualify to get the, the benefits from this uh, insurance package. So going on from that, with the 80,000 baht worth of insurance cover for an operation, and many people have said to me, that's not going to cover you for very much at all. <clears throat> so I use an example, an example from a subscriber of mine that came over here, he was, he was 70 years old, and a week after his insurance ran out, because he only came here on a, um, a two-week holiday and he extended it, he ended up having a heart attack and he ended up having stents fitted into his heart. And this was at the cost of 285,000 baht at a public hospital. So 285,000 baht, um, obviously this is much, much more than the 80,000 baht where it says for a non-specific, non-schedule operation. So I pose the question that on this insurance policy, if I had a heart attack, and I was diagnosed that I needed the stents to be put in, would this insurance cover it? And the answer was, thankfully, yes. Which is, and I'm sure that'll be a relief to many, many people who are watching this. And the reason why it would be covered is because under Section 2, Major Medical Benefits pays 90% of the eligible expenses in excess of the above basic hospital and surgical benefits so in other words they'll take the 80,000 baht that you're covered for the operation and the hospital will pay the, or the sorry or the insurance will pay 90% of that extra cost so that presumes that I would have to pay 10% of the extra cost which is affordable and that's for like emergency medical treatment I was happy in my mind that even though my cover covers for 700,000 baht, they would pay up to 90% of a, a major medical emergency operation, and that would cover for my operation. We can sort the payment out once, once the emergency is over and done with, but I'm happy in my own mind that my basic, basic coverage of 700,000 baht helps me along my way if I have an emergency where an operation is required. So you just freeze frame and then you can read the, the policy. And at the back of the policy, it gives you some details with regard to the payments and things like that. Now I'm under the 61 to 65 year old ca uh, category. I'm on the basic insurance without um, outpatient cover. And that's 24,885 baht and I've just paid that. And, that's renewed it now for another year. Now I'm over the moon. My, me personally, I'm over the moon with that. And I have had the naysayers, oh, you should have three million bahts worth of cover. Okay, personal choices and financial requirements and whether you can afford to pay for three million bahts worth of cover. If you're financially solvent and you've got lots of money, why not have three, thousand, uh, three million bahts worth of cover? Why not, if you, if you can afford it? But for my... Peace of mind, it's a stick and plaster and it's enough to get cover. And I can find 25,000 baht a year to cover me for basic medical emergency. And also what it does cover, because here they give you a hospital um, list of acceptable hospitals. And I asked, I, well, I asked my wife to ask that because I don't want to go to the most expensive hospitals such as the Bangkok Rayong Hospital or the, any of the Bangkok hospitals which are absolutely fantastic. They're like five star hotels. They give the best cover but boy do they charge a lot of money also. Or I would be happy just going to a public hospital or a, a more basic hospital than the, the top hospitals that are covered in this policy. And the answer was yes. So one of the public hospitals in Rayong is also one of the hospitals that I can get covered for in Rayong. So the cover for treatment in that hospital is going to be much, much cheaper than the top-notch hospitals in Rayong. So have a look at the policy. Have a look at the details at the back of this policy. 
and there's a contact number and email address so contact this lady she will give you all the information that you require and she'll also send details of various policies and with this policy it goes up to 76 to 80 years old which is good because once you're over 80 years old I'm sorry to say that particularly nobody wants you because you're over 80 as I'm 18 years away from that I've got 18 years of coverage that I can do and by the time I get to 8 year old I'll be, I'll, what I will do I will self insure I'll have 800,000 baht in the bank to cover for medical emergencies and things like that so there's always a way so have a look at this Pacific Cross through the Patia Expats Club I think you'll be happy with the, the results I'm happy I've been with them for 10 years and all I've heard is positive results from it and fingers crossed if I ever ever need it it'll be there and it'll pay out and I'll have no problems but I hope this is a video that I will never ever have to make the fact that I've had to claim on my insurance so from Les reside and live in the dream till the next video bye for now